On Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, Oklahomans are asked to vote on State Question 820, the Recreational Marijuana Legalization Initiative. So let's talk about it here in this special edition of the Blog Oklahoma podcast. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Whenever a state question comes up, I like to read you the text before the election to give you a chance to understand what you're voting on. Sometimes these state questions can be quite wordy, and the compact format they're presented on the ballot isn't the most readable. Now, I encourage you to do your own research. In the show notes and in an extra edition of the Blog Oklahoma newsletter, I provided some links with more information about state question 820. After I'm done reading, I'll share my thoughts on the state question. So let's begin. Here is the text as it will appear on the March 7th ballot. State question 820, initiative petition number 434. This measure creates a state law legalizing recreational use marijuana for persons 21 or older. Marijuana use and possession remain crimes under federal law. The export of marijuana from Oklahoma is prohibited. The law will have a fiscal impact on the state. The Oklahoma Tax Commission will collect a 15% excise tax on recreational use sales above applicable sales tax. Excise tax revenues will fund implementation of the law, with any surplus revenues going to the public school programs to address substance abuse and improve student retention, 30%. The General Revenue Fund, 30%. Drug Addiction Treatment Programs, 20%. Courts, 10%. And local governments, 10%. The law limits certain marijuana-related conduct and establishes quantity limits, safety standards, restrictions, and penalties for violations. A local government may prohibit or restrict recreational marijuana use on the property of the local government and regulate the time, place, and manner of operation of marijuana businesses within its boundaries. However, a local government may not limit the number of or completely prohibit such businesses. Persons who occupy, own, or control private property may prohibit or regulate marijuana-related conduct, except that a lease agreement may not prohibit a tenant from lawfully possessing and consuming marijuana by means other than smoking. The law does not affect an employer's ability to restrict employee marijuana use. For the first two years, marijuana business licenses are available only to existing licensees in operation one year or more. The law does not affect the rights of medical marijuana patients or licensees. The law requires resentencing, reversing, modifying, and expunging certain prior marijuana-related judgments and sentences unless the state proves an unreasonable risk to a person. The Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority is authorized to administer and enforce the law. For the proposal... Yes. Against the proposal, no. Well, there you have it, State Question 820. (laughs) It's so much fun reading these state questions aloud. Such riveting content. (laughs) I hope in my small way it helps you understand these state questions better by hearing them read to you. Everyone in the state will be voting on State Question 820 on March 7th, so please, everyone, get to the polls. But a few of you will have some local elections also on this same ballot. I suggest you visit the Oklahoma Elections Board Oklahoma Voter Portal and view your sample ballot. 
Early voting is on Thursday, March 2nd, and Friday, March 3rd, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Only those two days this time. The polls are open on Tuesday, March 7th, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Please visit the Oklahoma Elections Board for more details. I'll have links to all of those in the show notes. All right, now here's the part of the podcast where I give my opinion on State Question 820. Now, if you don't care about my opinion, hey, no worries. i just given you all the information you need. So please do your own research, and I will see you at the polls on March 7th. Okay, for all three of you who are still here, <laughs> if you're interested in my opinion, thank you very much. <laughs> I am voting yes on 820. I think it'll benefit the state in the long run. I think the 15% excise tax on top of sales tax is quite fair for illegally purchased marijuana. I think uh, the uh, exceptions that they put in, like employers can still restrict the use of marijuana on the job, just like they would alcohol. That's a plus. I like that the uh, cities can still say dispensaries are only allowed in this location with proper zoning. That's, that's good. Um, I also like that uh, certain uh, marijuana convictions could be overturned or expunged. I think that benefits a lot of people. So uh, I think there's a lot of good in this proposition. Now, I have heard some of the no opinion. Uh, One of the things that they brought up was uh, smoking in front of children in the home. Well, if you think about it, that's going to be up to the parents. And uh, those kind of people were probably already smoking tobacco in front of their children. They're probably drinking in front of their children. They're probably vaping in front of their children. They probably have loaded weapons in the house. See my point? So I don't think that argument applies here to 820. But I appreciate your opinion. Now, I could be wrong. But uh, that's the way I think of it. So, uh That's it. That's my opinion on 820. I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, You can contact me on social media. But the 7th is literally just a few days away, so we get to hear everyone's opinion on this. And we'll see what happens on uh, March 8th. This has been a special edition of the Blog Oklahoma podcast for February 26, 2023, episode 177. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.